So when we think about food, it's easy just to think about the food that we order at a restaurant or that we buy at a supermarket. But a lot of things just make their own food or get food in different ways. Think about plants, for example. Plants make their own food. That makes them a producer because they produce their own food using the sun's energy. Do you remember what that process is called? Photosynthesis, that's right. So plants create their own food that makes them producers. Then what about us? We don't make our own food. Well, we might cook it, but we're not producing it. We go to the store and we buy it. That makes humans consumers. So we have to go out and get our own food. Lions would be consumers too, right? They go out and they hunt for their food. Well, so I have producers and consumers. There's one more decomposers. Now decomposers we might not think about, but those are like in some kind of bugs or insects, mushrooms, molds, worms, and those decomposers make food or eat food by eating what we would consider waste, it's like dirt, like um, animals that have passed on or so they go ahead and they eat dead materials, old logs just say, and they, when they eat it, it goes through their body and their system and it makes it more nutrient. It comes out as a nutrient, as a soil, and so it actually then becomes food or some kind of a nutrient that the producer could use. So if I'm a decomposer and here's like a dead old log and I'm on the log and I'm eating it up and I'm decomposing it, making it into a really soft soil that has all this great nutrients in it, so I'm that decomposer. Then I've made that soil, my producer, my plant can use that soil to create its own food and use the sun's energy and make its own food with my wonderful soil. And then me being the consumer, I can go ahead and eat that plant right up and there you go. So that's a basic food chain and those are three different ways or types of organisms and how they get their food.